der Brand des Gewerkschaftshauses. The fire in the trade union building in the Ukrainian city Odessa on May 2nd, which killed dozens of pro-Russian demonstrators, is thought by many observers to be the definite fuse to start a civil war in Ukraine. Ukrainian Attorney General Oleg Magnitsky explained that this bloodbath must have been planned sometime in advance. I quote, We have video and picture material proving that a number of militia purposely did nothing. There was a settlement between militiamen and bandits, obviously. He stated, after a report from the Ukrainian news service UNN, Here is a chronological timeline of the events before the fire in the trade union building. The tragedy began with a football game between the Odessa and Charkov teams. Despite the enormous political tension, authorities approved the game, even though everyone was aware that this would mean that a few thousand pro-Kiev government football fans would be in the city. After the game, about 1,500 football fans and supporters of the Putsch government in Kiev went together on a demonstration march, which was also approved. As the local council representatives of Odessa, Vladim Savenko, explained in an interview, the civilian members of the special battalion Storm and Dnep I joined the march with pro-Russian flags and wristbands. First, they purposefully stirred up the football fans, as well as the rest of the mob, using firearms. Then they steered the protesters off of the planned route and pushed them towards the trade union building to provoke a collision with the unarmed and peaceable pro-Russian activists in their tents. This made the pro-Russian activists withdraw inside the building, which was then set on fire. It was a very long time before the fire was extinguished, even though the fire department was next door to the trade union building. As our next media commentary will explain in more detail, there is more evidence supporting the suspicion that the fire was merely set to disguise the massacre that had already taken place in the building. Valued viewers, even the mass media are reporting these days about the Ukrainian Putsch government in Kiev conferring with dozens of CIA and FBI specialists. The official version is that they are there to help stop the rebellion in the east of the country. This information arouses the suspicion that the brutal massacre in Odessa may have been following a perfidious CIA plot in order to hide political murders behind infuriated hooligans. False flag operations are a numerously proven U.S. strategy to legitimize and make nations ready for war. Stay tuned. Our next media commentary will present further unreported details of the massacre in Odessa. Thank you for watching.